Hi, Kinder families. Happy Monday. Today is the first day of week five for our distance learning. In this video, we're going to be talking about all subject areas. Just a reminder, our core subjects are reading, writing, and math, and the additional subjects are social studies, STEM, gym, art, health, and music. Before we get started, just a quick few reminders. Remember, don't stress about all of this. Do what you can, make a schedule, and try to work one to two hours a day. We don't want to overwhelm you. We just want to make sure your kindergartners are on track for first grade. Let's get started with reading. Reading this week, we're starting a new story. It's called Because You Recycle. Before we start, let's talk about some vocab. The first word we're going to talk about is recycling. We've talked a lot about recycling this past week for Earth Day. Recycling is when you use cans, bottles, paper, cardboard, or other stuff that can be cut up and used, be used to make something new or something the same again. That's recycling. We can reuse it again. Our next word is plastic. We can make lots of things out of plastic. Plastic can be any color. It can be made into any shape. It is something that is made from, from things like metal, wood, or glass. You might see plastic at your house with your toys, or maybe some water bottles or milk jugs at your house. Those are all made out of plastic. Our last word is kitty litter. Cats go to the bathroom in a box that has litter in it. Kitty litter is kind of like sand or tiny rocks. The kitty's owner can clean the box so it doesn't get stinky. Kitty litter is our third vocabulary word. So let's get looking at our book. Our book this week is called Because You Recycle. You should have a copy of this book in your packet, but if you can't find it, you can go to our classroom website and watch a video of me reading the story with you. You can use this video all week or you can just check it out once if you're just curious. There's also another teacher who is reading the video. There's a link in your packet to help you find that video as well. The next thing we're going to be doing today is talking about a new sight word. Our new sight word is the word little. Little. Little is the longest sight word that we've learned so far in kindergarten. It has six letters. Let's try to spell it together if you can. L-I-T-T-L-E. L is a tall letter. I is a short letter. T, T, and L are all tall letters, and the E at the end is a short letter. So first, we're going to write those letters in the boxes. Then we're going to write the word little three times on the lines. At the bottom, you're going to draw a picture and write a sentence using the word little. I bet you can come up with something really cool for that. Remember, there's also an optional song if you want to follow this link to talk about the word little. Writing. This week we're going to be writing letters again. However, we're doing a little, doing it a little bit differently. This week we're going to be writing thank you letters instead of just a regular letter. Today you're going to be getting, you're going to be making a list of people that you can write a thank you letter for. In your packets you've got this first page that talks about writing in kindergarten. Now, families that are listening to this video, writing in kindergarten is a lot different than writing in any other grade. In kindergarten, we stretch out words and we just listen for sounds. So your kinder friend might not write words perfectly in kindergarten and that's okay. We just want to hear sounds. So if they're writing the word uh, flight, it could be spelled F-L-I-T, flight flight. Or they might want to add a silent E at the end. We know that's not the right way to spell it, but in kindergarten, we just want them to stretch it out and do the best that they can. So, kinder friends, we are going to be writing letters to thank people. Let's zoom in on this. One reason people write letters is to thank people. This week, you can write letters to people who have helped you or who you see helping your community, like a firefighter, a delivery person, a doctor, or a nurse. Or it could be somebody in your family that's been helping you and you can thank them. So down here on the bottom, we're going to make a list. I want you to think of six people that you could thank for doing something for you. It could be somebody in your family. You could thank the grown-ups in your house for making dinner for you. You could thank your grandma or your aunt or your brother and sister for watching you while mom and dad have to work. You could thank the delivery person who brings your groceries. You could thank a firefighter who's keeping you safe. 
There's lots and lots of people that we could write on this list, but try to think of six people that you could write a letter to to thank them. We're not going to write the letter today, but keep that list for tomorrow. All right, let's talk about math for today. Today, we're going to be on page 325 and 326 in your math book. This should look kind of familiar to you. We've done this before, Kinder Friends. So... Let's take a look at this example here. We're writing the five partners. Do you see how some all of the shapes are the same, but some of them are different colors? Let's do this example together. So I have two green rectangles, and I have three white rectangles. So my partners to make five, because there's five rectangles all together, is two plus three. So I would write that on the line. I'm going to count the colored shapes plus the white shapes. So do you see all on the top line? They have those examples already for you. There's one green hexagon plus four white hexagons. So count the colored shapes plus the white shapes. All right? Then on the back, you're doing some addition and subtraction. Kinder friends, you guys have been practicing this so, so much, and I'm really proud of you. Here's what I want you to do. Just pick four addition problems to do at the top and four to do at the bottom. Maybe you just want to do all of the, the first column, go all the way down the first column. You don't need to do all of them, Kinder friends. I know it's a lot of work. So just do four on top and four on the bottom. If you have some extra time and you're feeling really, really smart, go ahead and finish the whole page, but you only need to do four on top and four on the bottom. All right, let's talk about our social studies this week. This week you have three different lessons for social studies. If you want to do them all at once, that is fine. It's not going to take you very long anyways. So we are still talking about maps, but we're going to talk about landforms as well this week. So in your social studies books on page 62 and 63, Kinder Friends, this is what page 63 looks like. Don't look at the top. It's wrong on the top. This is what page 63 looks like. Here's what they want you to do. We're talking about different kinds of landforms. Those are things you can find on the earth, like mountains, hills, plains, and islands. Those are all different kinds of landforms you can find on the map. On page 62, it's showing you a map of North Carolina, and it's showing you where the mountains, hills, plains, and islands are. On page 63, it's your turn to find those things. So here's what they want you to do. Look at the map. Circle the mountains and the hills. So on the map, you're going to circle anything that looks like a mountain or a hill. Then it says draw an X on the plains and the islands. So you're going to look for those green plains, cross that off, and then there's little islands along the ocean, cross those off too. All right? So that's your first lesson in social studies. Your second lesson is talking about bodies of water. So we have landforms and we have bodies of water. There are three different kinds of bodies of water that we're going to learn in kindergarten. Rivers, lakes, and oceans. Those are the kind of bodies of water we're going to talk about. On page 65, 64 showed you all of the kinds of bodies of water. 65, it says, draw a W on the water. Huh, that's pretty easy, right? So look for anything on the map that is blue, because water is blue most of the time, and draw the letter W on all the different kinds of waters. Remember, you've got the lakes, you've got the ocean, and you've got the river. So look for that river. It's kind of a squiggly blue line. That's your clue. Take a look for that in this map. All right? Then your last lesson is page 66 and 67. It is an extra little activity that's kind of testing your reading skills and testing your listening skills. So here's what it says. You can put things into groups when they are alike. A hill and a mountain are both landforms like we talked about in the first lesson. A river and an ocean are both bodies of water, like we talked about in the second lesson. So here's what it wants you to do on the next page, page 67. It says, circle in brown the picture that, looks, that shows kinds of land 
and circle in blue the pictures that show kinds of water. So you're gonna have pictures of land, you're gonna have pictures of water. You're gonna take a brown crayon or marker and circle the part that is land, and a blue crayon or marker and circle the part that is water. All right, brown for land, blue for water. If you see land and water in one picture, you could use both colors. So circle the land in brown and the water in blue. All right, so that's your social studies lesson, kinder friends. Now let's move on to STEM. Let's see what Miss Life has for us this week. We are gonna be talking more about fabric. You guys have been doing lots of research on fabric. This week, your prompt is, I can count the seams on a piece of clothing. Here's what your worksheet says. Are your clothes made of only one piece of fabric? Probably not. Seams are places where pieces of fabric are sewn together. So take a look at those two pictures. It'll show you where seams on your clothes are sewn together. Look at your pants or your shirt. How many seams can you find? It wants you to count them and then write the number on those two lines. The number of seams in my pants? and the number of seams on my shirt. So remember friends, a seam is where you can see they sewed two pieces of fabric together, just like those pictures. I bet you'll be able to find them on the sides of your shirt and the bottom of your shirt and on the legs of your pants. Then it says, draw a picture of the seams on your shirt or on your pants. So that's your activity for STEM, kinder friends. This probably won't take you very long to do at all. It's gonna be nice and quick this week. Jim, we've done the same thing all the past five weeks, kinder friends, for Jim. Go ahead and do some activities, write them down on a piece of paper, and email Coach. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear all of the fun activities you guys are doing. Remember, you can make a Go Noodle account for free, and that's a great way for you guys to be practicing and getting your exercise while we are stuck at home. And art. This week in art, it says select one art activity from the choice board. You got a new choice board in your package this week. There's lots of really cool art activities for you to do. It says just select one, but kinder friends, you can always do more if you have some extra time. Some of them are really easy, like draw a rainy day, draw a sunny day, draw a stormy day. And some of them take a little bit more work, like this. They gave you something that you can make a May Day basket, the first day of May, which is Friday, is called May Day, and it's a day where we can celebrate being kind to other people. So there's instructions there on how to make a May Day basket with little flowers you can cut out and stick in your basket to deliver to somebody in your family as just like a little special um, hello to help them feel better as they're being stuck at home. So lots of fun art options for you this week. And let's talk about health. This week, we're going to be talking about feelings. Kinder friends, we've got a lot of feelings going on while we're at home this week, don't we? Sometimes we're really excited about something. Sometimes we're nervous or a little bit scared. Sometimes we're sad. And sometimes we can be angry. So in your packet this week, you've got a piece of paper that looks like this. It says, my emotions. Draw a picture of your face in each box to match the emotion. So there's a box that says mad. You're gonna draw what your face looks like mad. There's one that says sad. There's one that says happy. And there's one that says scared. So try to draw your face and how you feel in those four emotions, those four feelings. And lastly, we've got music. You've got a new tic-tac-toe board and kinder friends. You are being asked to try to do one of those things in um, your tic-tac-toe board a day. That's what the music teachers would like you to do. Try to do your best. I know music may not be some things that the grown-ups really know what they're doing, but you can do your kindergarten best. Try to think of a song maybe you remember from music class. That would be something great for you to do. And there's also an extra tic-tac-toe board for you to do as well. And remember, Miss Bennell misses you so much, and she would love, love, love to hear from you. So go ahead and try to do that tic-tac-toe board. Try to get some of those activities done. Try to get three in a row. That would be awesome. And let Miss Bennell know how you're doing. 
All right, kinder friends, I know it's a lot of stuff, but guess what? You can do this. Don't stress. Do what you can. Take lots of breaks. Remember, kinder friends, you are so, so smart. Happy Monday. Please let me know. Email me. Send me a message if you have any questions. Bye, kinder friends.